right. We have Muhammad. Let's see if Muhammad is back. Muhammad, are you there? Yeah, my friend. Always focus. You know, uh, some people I don't know why. They, uh, you see, like in the old days. And this is my own opinion. It's like you know we are bored. So let us study every single person and let us see how we can elevate this person in our churches. But all of this is not important. We have only one master. Hello. Yes, uh, Muhammad. How are you? How are you doing? Can you hear me now? Are you Sorry here? about the floor. I don't want to waste your time. No problem. But you know, but I was calling you many times, but you did not answer. So it's all right. Go ahead. Yeah, there's an issue on the app. Uh, doesn't accept like my earphones for some reason. It's very weird. I'm sorry. It's all right. So what do you like? What do you like to say to yeah. us, Muhammad? Yeah. Um. I just want to say I took uh, my shahada last week. Uh, my main issues. I used to be actually evangelical Christian. I don't know what sect you are of Christianity, but I used to be Christian. My biggest reason for converting was the Trinity didn't make sense. Uh, mm. I couldn't. Uh, understand it just didn't make logical sense to me mm. that's my uh i'll give you that my thesis. i like, like i like what you said but is god is logical i mean if there's any logic that there is someone he can say to the dead come from the grave and he come out so how come your logic work only in certain cases it's not logical that god uh, can make a blind see by putting some mud in his eyes or even jesus like if you don't call him god now so I see, I don't want to be rude to you. The way I speak, I don't know if you know me. I speak straightforward, I don't sugarcoat. But it is silly that when we want, we seek logic. When we want, we go deaf or blind. Is it logical that Allah, He made Jesus the creator? He can create from the mother bird that make Him a creator. He can heal the leper, He can heal the blind, He can raise people from death. And he is right now alive in heaven and everybody is dead. So is that logical? It's not. Well, is it logical that I mean, Jesus... Is, is, okay, what is the logic in Islam? Now you are a Muslim. You said you converted. I'm not going to say you are lying or saying the truth. This is It's up to you. But is it logical in Islam that Jesus have no father? I mean, like if it like separate from religion, like just talking, kind of God. No, 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 God, no! Don't, like, don't separate, general. don't separate from religion. Give me the answer. I want you to give me a religious answer. Your answer doesn't matter. I'm not asking you to separate anything. Is it logical in Islam? In Islam, that means religious now. Is it logical in Islam that Jesus have no father? Uh yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, because we believe in Tawheed, so oneness of Allah and what does this have to do with Allah being one or two or seven my friend listen carefully focus with me please I'm not asking you if Allah is 7 11 I'm asking you is it logical that Jesus 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 the person Jesus he's born he's the only one is born but yet he have no father so I'm asking you in Islam what is the logic for Jesus to be born without a father well, the any like the Holy Spirit, like uh, Gabriel, he. What does um, have to do with my question, my friend? He, why Jesus? I'm not asking you who came down and the and the Holy Spirit became Jibril. Now there's no verse in the Quran saying that. Focus with me, please. What is the logic behind Jesus? Have no father. You see, Adam have no father, but this is normal because Adam is the first man. He's not born. So Jesus is the only one is born without father. Why? Give me a reason. Okay, then God. There has to be only God. Only God. What? It, the only reason you can have, you know, like no father is because God did it. Like he created a person. No. With, you know. First of all, my mother, she can claim that when she gave birth to me, she never met a man. So this is a miracle nobody can see. And God do not need all of this. Why he did it only to Jesus? Okay, why he did not make Muhammad? So let us say ever prophet, then he have no father. Okay, Jesus is special. Jesus is special. That's okay, uh, thank you special. very much. But what make Jesus special in this case now? He have no father. Do you know? Because he's the like Messiah. Like he's gonna come and kill like the Dajjal and stuff like that. Like he's gonna, you know. I don't know. Do I, his... I think you are very much confused. 
Muhammad he says, كل ابن آدم من خطاء. Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Is Jesus the son of Adam? Uh, okay, that's a good question, actually. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not uh, knowledgeable on that. Oh. If he was, well, he wasn't born of another human, so technically he wouldn't be, well, I mean, actually married, so. Yes, what, he would what? be considered a descendant of an Adam. How yes. is it? If, if you have no father, isn't it the Quran I mean, says, Mary, still, still it, isn't it the Quran, Mary, what, Mary what? what, what? Mary, Mary is still a human being, like, like she's still doesn't like, matter. You know, descendant of Adam. doesn't matter, even the Quran confirmed that he is the word of Allah sent down to Mary. So where was Jesus was in, before, before he became in the womb of Mary? He was the word of God, sent down. So the Messiah, and this is what the Bible confirmed, in John chapter 1, verse number 1, in the beginning it was the Word, and the was what, what Word was what God, and the Word was God. And in verse number 14, and the Word became a flesh. So Muhammad is copying the Bible, so Jesus was in heaven as the Word of God. The Word of God became a man. So the Word of God is exist before Mary is exist. And the Word of God is exist before Jesus was born. And the Word of God is Jesus. And this is what the Quran is saying now. So, wait, 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 what does the Quran say? Jesus was the like before everyone, like he's like God. Your voice is cutting. Are you using the internet of the neighbor? Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was asking, where does the Quran say Jesus is, is God? It may, pretty make sure he's like the Quran says he's just a prophet. Like, obviously, he's special, but. End of days, she's human. Like, you are bringing you me a me. book, you are bringing me a book made by a silly person. All of it is full of stupid mistakes, historic mistakes, scientific mistakes, all kind of mistake. And says to me, Where in the Quran it says, however, as long as you ask for it, will you get it? In the Quran, it says, They took their monks and their rabbi as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah. The Muslim they try to fix it, and this is in chapter 9, verse number 31. They say this is a grammar issue. When he said in the Quran, they took their monks and rabbis as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. He don't mean that the Messiah is a God. So they try to fix it. But the verse, if you read it, anyone who speaks Arabic, it says, they took their monks and their rabbis as God instead of Allah and the Messiah, the son of Mary. So the Quran yeah, confirmed that in the Quran. The, from the scholars? Huh? Does the, the tasfiyat for the, the verse you're quoting, does it say uh, what you're saying? Like, uh, no, no, I for sure, like the Muslim, they will they try to duct tape, but the Arabic is so clear. The, the, the Muslim, they will try to duct tape because this is an obvious stupid mistake. Same time, uh, Muhammad is sinner in the Quran. Everybody is sinner in the Quran. Except Jesus. I mean, yeah, I agree. I agree. Muhammad is a sinner. Like, he had to repent okay. 70 times so, a day. Okay. So, do you agree that Jesus is not a sinner in the Quran? Probably not. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say he sinned. Yeah, chapter 19, I mean, verse 19 says it clearly he is a holy son. However, as long as Muhammad is a sinner and Jesus is not, Muhammad he said that when Shaitan, he try when, when a, a person is, is, is born, Shaitan, he touch him. In his peninsula except two he could not jesus and mary why why shaitan cannot touch them which means he cannot hurt them with sin why why such a, why such a thing can happen to muhammad my friend i don't know you are not listening why such a thing can happen to muhammad and including me and you and everybody according to muhammad Except two, Jesus and God. Mary. Uh, this is God's plan. Uh, Thank you very much. I guess much. he decided. Okay, so why God's plan is the following. I will not let the shaitan get close to Mary or to Jesus, but he can get close to Muhammad, to Christian prince, to Musa, to Abraham. He can get close to everybody. Why? Give me the answer. I mean... Uh, I don't know actually. I, I wouldn't know how to answer that, to be honest. Being honest My know. friend, you believe in a satanic, demonic, stupid religion. Nothing there makes logic because simply Muhammad is just trying to copy from us what we believe. And the more he talks, the more he makes poo poo. 
the only reason for Satan not to affect a person if he is perfect and holy. So every Muhammad himself, he said, if you go, and this is a Sahih Hadith, you can go to a Turmudi as an example, Hadith number 2499, or Book Ahmad 13049, or Ibn Majah 4251, Every son of an Adam is a sinner, except the one who is not son of Adam. And this is why Jesus is a son of no man. He is the son of God. And this is why the Messiah never commits sin, never did sin, and right now he's in heaven. Why is he in heaven right now in Islam? No Muslim can explain. He says to you, there's a plan. No, no. You see, to be in heaven, first of all, you have to be qualified. Every, I the, agree. The, the so Bible like, says, if you're reading purely from the hold on, Bible, hold on. you would get Jesus as God. If you're going only to the Bible, I, I don't... No, no, no hold on, hold on. We don't go to the Bible right now. Why Jesus right now in heaven? A human being, according to Muslims, he have to go through something that's called muthar, which means you have to be like, a, you go through fire and the fire burn you and etc. And then... Uh, depend on how much sin you do and then the, the, the fire will cleanse you you will suffer a lot etc depend on how much bad you are and then you will be qualified to go to heaven Jesus did not go through any of this why because he have zero sin uh, right now he is in heaven living there uh, for a thousand of years um at least something you can clear up for me like uh so like how would you explain like i think it's a typical it's not this is nothing i haven't raised up it's something like a lot of people raised up and it's probably been answered i don't know if the answer is out there but like why didn't like jesus for example like know the owl i'm like in the gospels and stuff like well if you read the same that. chapter okay allah do not know the hour just to answer you if you go in the quran every single verse allah do not know the hour why when allah he said <clears throat> the judgment day is near and the moon is split ascender that was a false prophecy about the judgment day approach because first the moon did not split and no science can confirm that and according to Muhammadans the moon split two pieces to the point you can see the Mount of Hara clear so like there's thousands of millions of miles between the two parts of the moon but nobody in the world saw such a thing no historian this is the moon if the moon is split at night all of Persia because they have the same time zone Persia Egypt uh, India all of them they will see it nobody saw nobody report not the Hindu not the Christians not the Jews not the because everybody would be amazed by such a thing so the Quran is a stupid book it was an eclipse and here Muhammad he make it clear that Allah told him that this is a sign of day of judgment did the day of judgment happen no Muhammad he says do you shikna Isa the Messiah soon very soon is going to descend among you among you not in the future he's talking to the people in front of him among you did Isa descend among you in the time of Muhammad? No. So obviously Muhammad is a false man. Uh, and when you mentioned to me in the beginning that the Trinity does not make sense, I don't know how, you know, I, I don't want to be like uh, speaking to you as a bully, uh, but Muslims, they hunt in people who have a low IQ. And obviously you are having a low IQ. Because how in the world you are asking God who you call him almighty how you can be three and one well God he can because he's almighty what makes sense let us uh, discuss okay, but let, let us discuss like, what uh, makes sense if God if you're God Allah now he says I am 1000 are you going to tell him how you can be 1000 and one at the same time but the thing is that why don't Christians then agree on everything like this? Like, if you look at all the sects, there's like so many different like, like we don't councils. Care. And we stuff. don't care, my friend. Oh, first of all, all of them they agree that God is one. Doesn't matter. Don't play the. the I know, I know, I know. You agree internally, but uh -huh. you guys don't agree on stuff like the nature of Christ. Like, for example, the Orthodox Church, the Eastern Orthodox, they believe Christ has two natures. So, like, they're like, uh, uh, and then like the Oriental friend, believe Christ God, has one nature. Uh, mid, mid Jesus side. have two nature. This is just philosophy. Doesn't matter, doesn't change anything. Still, Jesus is God, but obviously, Business Jesus, my now? friend, my friend, Jesus. If if somebody want to give interpretation for the book uh, and give it extra philosophy, he says, okay, now Jesus have one nature. He is God, even when he came as a man. Yeah, he is he's right. And the one who says God, he have a two nature. He's right because he came in the flesh, and he's still he is God. So if you think about it, both of them they are right. But both of them, they are just making an argument for the sake of argument, like the Greek. It's just debating about uh, they, they are debating about the debate. 
the Messiah, you know, isn't it the Bible says that God created Adam in his image? Right? And this is what your prophet, what your prophet Muhammad, he said. Your prophet, he said, that Allah, he created Adam in his image. And he took that from the Old Testament, word by word. So, if Allah is not a man, why the hadith says Allah created Adam in his image? He is copying. He is copying. Uh, he is copying the, the Old Testament. And by doing that, he made a big mistake because now God image is the image of a man. The Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, oh no, it says that Adam was 60. Uh, uh, uh. Well, this is false. This is the hadith. I will post it. God created Adam in his image. So now, God Allah, according to you, is your God. Uh, he have the image of Adam. But let us say he don't have the image of Adam. All the Muslims agree that Allah have five fingers. Do you agree? No, that's shirk. I never heard this Allah having. I don't know. You can't. You can't. Put, I don't like, know. How, so how you convert to Islam? Are you are you a fool? I mean, you don't even know who use the God you are worshiping. Go right now and search Zak and Naik or anyone. God Allah have a hand or type in into YouTube. God Allah Allah have hands. Allah have a shin. Allah have a foot. You will see it. This is what the Muslim believe. Okay. So now is the hands yeah, of Allah. Is the hand, Allah have a hand? Allah have a shin. Allah have a foot. Allah have a eyes. Allah have a mouth. Uh, Allah have a back. Allah have a front. Allah have a face. Allah have a mind. But Allah don't have a soul. How come you did not ask yourself? Listen, you are the one who speak about logic. How come Allah have hands, have physical body part, but He don't have soul or a spirit? I worship him as a spirit. Uh, I what? don't really, I don't know. I don't think of him as like a physical being. I just think of him as like. It's not up to you to think God. about him. Are you? Are you like? What are you talking about, man? Are, are, are like? Are you the one to decide what to think about? I don't think about him as a physical. Who cares? He is a physical being. Are you? Are, are you? Uh, did you convert to imaginary uh, imaginary religion? Allah is a physical being. So, when Allah is a physical being, and this is confirmed by the Muslims. But Allah, He don't have a spirit. So you are worshiping an idol. Does it, Mr. Logic, I'm asking you, does it make logic sense that you are a physical being, but you don't have a spirit? Okay, well, what about, if I'm worshiping idols, okay, fair, let's say, you say, well, don't change topic, I'm asking you, my, my friend, focus with me, please. Does it make sense that there is a God, He have a physical body, but he don't have a spirit. Well, I would say uh, that doesn't make sense. I'd say. I mean, you got. I think Allah definitely has a spirit. I don't know where you're saying it's physical. I don't. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. But I would say that doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. You said. Yeah, I agree. It doesn't make sense. Okay. If what you're saying is true, then it doesn't. No, no, it's make true. Sense. You know, you can go right now. Okay, you're talking to me right now. Search. Do Allah have a spirit? Search. Search. Type. Type in Google right now. You do it. Okay. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Do Allah have a soul? You it it says here, like it says, the Quran regards it refers to God's own spirit as the ruh. Apparently, that's how, that's how Google came up. What? Which was like blown into Adam, and then they created it. This is not. Adam, this Adam. is this. This is not Allah have a soul. This is the uh, Allah supposedly creating souls. I'm asking you to 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 search. Do Allah have a soul? Okay, let me help you. I will post the link in the chat. And this is Islam question and answer Muslim website. Open the open the link and read it for me. He is debating with the Christian. Obviously, this is me. Is asking, does God have a spirit? See the same question I just gave you. If you go down in the page, I did see a Reddit search and it said someone said Allah's my friend. My friend, I posted a link for you. This is your Muslim website. Open it. Just don't waste my time. Okay. Well, where did you send it to me? Sorry. In the in the chat. In the chat. In the server chat. 
All right, I'll open it. Give me two seconds, please. All right. You will see the answer saying clearly the spirit or soul is not one of the attribute of Allah, rather, it is one of things that have been created by Allah. Okay, yeah, I, I can see you're telling the truth. Uh, I, I saw the answer. I'm not going to say you are lying there. Mm. But and that's just the website. Like, I'm not going to say that's no, a No, 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 no. This is not a website. What website? This is Islam. Those, no, it's not like this is, this is a Muslim country, my friend. If, they, if you post an article like this, they will kill you if this is not true. You will be in dead. What, uh, you know, this website? This is very serious. Can I ask questions about Christianity as well? Because if you're going to no just problem. say stuff about No problem, but let's finish here. So you said it's not logical that Allah has a body, but yet he don't have a spirit. Now, maybe you need me to confirm to you that Allah have a body. Is that what you're asking me for? Uh, I'll, I'll just skip this. this sec I, I'm not knowledgeable in this section. I don't want to comment on that. No problem, my friend. I'm here to help you. I'm not claiming that you are knowledgeable. I'm not. I said to you something. Do you believe that Allah have a physical body or not yet? Well, according to the, the religion, I, my own beliefs don't matter. So, is yeah, he has a physical body. If you, what you're saying is true. Okay. Well, you can go right now to YouTube and you will find tons of, uh, of uh, videos. Let me play one. Okay, it's hear. true, it's true. Okay. We, I, I won't waste time on this. I'll accept what you what you said. I'm not, I'm not let a us, liar. Uh, like, let I'm me, not going to lie. I'm playing a video. Cause can you hear it? I can slightly hear it, yeah. Slightly. Okay. And Allah has two hands, two right hands, end quote. Shaykh, taking the context of this hadith into consideration, does Allah the Almighty metaphorically or literally have two right hands? Jazakul Khair. In Arabic, for those who know Arabic, they understand that the word right is used for justifiable things and honorable things. And this is what was meant. Yeah, actually, here, hold, he's not talking about uh, his, uh, he's talking about the word right. Give me a second as we play the other uh, video. Allah have. Uh, okay, let us see this one. Okay, uh, the second question of Rami was when people pray and say, Oh Allah, so just grant us the ability to see your face in paradise, or when someone prays you and says, May Allah Azzawajal allow you to see Allah's face in paradise, wouldn't this be? giving Allah Azza wa Jal attributes of humans? And the answer is no. Allah mentioned Azza wa Jal in his book describing himself a number of attributes that we believe in. So Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in Surah Al-Rahman وَيَبَقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ Allah Azza wa Jal and this is what I call myself and all of my brothers and sisters recite the Quran get your best knowledge from the Quran don't devote five minutes a day ten minutes a day to the Quran no devote more an hour an hour and a half to recite the Quran and to learn what it says at the same time now in the Quran Surah Al-Rahman Allah Azza wa says وَيَبْقَى وَجْهُ رَبِّكَ ذُو الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَامِ everything will be perished except Allah Azza wa Jal and here Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to himself by saying that his face will remain, which means Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala, will not perish. He is the first without a beginning and he is the last without an ending. Azza wa Jal. He's the creator of the all, uh, uh, what you see and what you do not see. And he is not created. And he does not die. And he does not have an ending. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah described in the Quran that he has a face. Allah described in the Quran that he has two hands when he addressed Iblis, Satan. And he told him, what prevented you from prostrating to what I have created with my two hands? So this is what Allah described himself. Allah says in Surah Al-Qalam that on the day of judgment, Allah would uplift and show his leg 
ويكشفوا عن ساق ويدعون الى السجود Did you hear your God he have a leg? Yeah, yeah, we heard. CP, excuse me, I'm the mod one of the moderators. Right. Uh, can you try to just uh, try to share your screen? It would work now, I think. Uh, let us see. Share yeah, sure. my screen. Oh, okay, let's see if there is share my screen. All right. Okay, let me choose the Abdul here in the screen. Give me a second. Uh, this is okay. All right. Maybe if I can make, let us see. Okay. It should, it should work now. Let us see. Uh, Everyone. Give me a second. Hello? Hold on, hold on, Muhammad. Yeah, it worked, it worked. But anyway, we played the video. Maybe next time we will do it. All right. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for uh, telling me. Thank you, thank you. All right, Muhammad. So what do you think now? Your God, Allah, have a shin and he's going to expose his shin and you are talking about logic so your god don't have a spirit but he have a shin and he's going to show his shin so now you convert it to a religion which is the god of this religion is a shin and he have no soul you are a pagan this is what the difference between living being and dead being or a concrete or an idol the living being is someone has a soul a spirit the dead being or the uh, 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 object they don't have a soul and this is what you convert to you are a pagan person you don't even know what you believe you don't know who's your god all right yeah. i think we should be respectful because i never insulted uh, you i'm not insulting just, my friend i i speak this way i'm telling you the truth did i lie what is the insult did i say your god is a shen am i lying look um he say we i'm a pagan stuff okay you're, you're pagan you're in, pagan you're pagan the quran call us pagans okay. the quran call us kuffar so how come that your book can call us all those names and you don't have you are not offended so i can call you the same names the quran even call us the donkeys so i can call you a donkey why you are being hypocrite but does the does, does jesus allow that huh you jesus would be okay with that like would be okay with you calling other people why not names if and stuff you, like that? sure this is not name because you choose to worship a donkey religion. I mean, look at you. You don't even know who is your God. You just found out that your God have this and this and that. So you are a donkey. You converted the religion without knowing what you convert to. I'm not insulting you. This is who you are. I will not convert to a religion. This doesn't matter what religion is before I study it very well. So you do not know if God is a spirit or has no spirit. You don't know if God have hands or doesn't have hands. You don't know. So what do you know? How you convert to the just because Trinity does not make sense to you? Why you don't convert to uh, the, the Church of Satan? They worship Satan. He's one. The oneness of God is a joke. If you think about it, why? Because there's many many jokes in the earth. Many jokes. They say I am I am God worship me. Here we go. Satan. He is one God. There's no Trinity. So you should worship Satan too. Aren't you? Aren't you a monotheist? In the same time, I will give you an. Uh, okay. Um, I, will, I will give you a question, and I will give you ten thousand years to answer it. Is Allah is one or two? He's one. Okay. So why the Quran says if Allah wanna take a partner, a wife, He will take it from us. Who is us? Is this, is this Quran or Hadith? Here we go. So you converted to a religion. You don't know nothing about it. I, I've never heard of this verse before. I'm, I'm being honest. I've never heard of this. I, don't I know, know I know. From. You see, don't be upset from me. I'm just telling you how I see what you did. You know, you did something uh, stupid. You converted the religion, but you do not know anything about this religion. You know, a, a smart person, he will go study it. it. Doesn't matter what religion, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, whatever it is, Hinduism. Uh, before we convert to such a thing, well, we have to study it, learn about it, and find out, and then we make decisions based on knowledge, not based on stupidity. So if you go in chapter uh, chapter 21, verse number 17, it says, If we wanted, and let me, uh, let me share the screen now, as long as we can share the screen. Give me a second. Let me see how that will work. Uh, share the screen. What surah is this? 
chapter 21 verse number 17 okay it's okay says, can, you, can you read it for me uh, huh okay is my screen showing guys Oh, yes, I wanted, yes, I can read it from the, okay. Is it, is it clear to read? Yeah, it's very clear, thank you. Mm. Well, actually, it's very nice. Oh. All right. So how does God is oneness, monotheist, and then if we want to get married, he will take it from us, us who? Maybe it's just up to interpretation. Is that just? I like the word maybe. You know? I like uh, the word maybe. Maybe you know. Maybe it's hummus. Maybe it's cheese. It says it clearly. If we want to take a partner, we will take this partner from us. You can change the translation, by the way. I mean, the translator. This is, this is uh, Itani uh, Allah. Let us go to different Abdul, like Yusuf Ali. Is this Tatfir from Yusuf Ali? No, I changed to Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali is just a translator. For me, I am an Arab. I read the Quran in Arabic. I do not need this. I'm just showing it to you because you are oh, the okay. one who does not know. Yeah. Is it different from English? Because I don't, I don't speak like my parents speak yeah, Arabic. In Arabic, it says, لو أردنا أن نتخذ له وأن لتخذناه من لدنا إن كنا فاعلين. The word له in Arabic means a woman for fun. A woman, specifically a woman. So if Allah is God, why his partner is going to be a woman? You take a partner from your kind. I'm not going to date a horse. I'm not going to marry a, a mule or a, a, a or a, an ant or a rat. You go with your kind. And the Arabic in Arabic here says Laduna, our kind. Our kind, not only ourselves. Uh, maybe it's just you know. I mean, I like your maybe. You know, it's not up to you to say maybe. You keep saying to me maybe. You are you're trying to duct tape. I want an answer. Don't tell me maybe. Give me the answer. Go ahead. Well, I'll, I'll be honest. I just I just don't I don't know. Like some stuff is you know it's up to interpretation. I'll just leave it up to the people, like scholars and stuff like that. Oh, uh, so you leave the scholars and you just you want to believe. Doesn't matter if it's stupid or not, because if Allah is one, this is an invalid statement. And if Allah he is saying, if I want to take a partner, well, that means in Islam, Allah can take a partner. And he is saying, if I want to take it, I will take it from ourselves. So it's possible. And there is people who they are qualified to be partners with Allah. That means they are equal to Allah. Because your partner only with the one is equal to you. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can. I mean, I can't put a limit on God. Like, God is God. What does that mean? God is God. God is God. Cat is cat. Rat is rat. What does that mean? How come God? It means like you are the one saying to me that how come a, a Trinity does not make sense? Well, this is this is more than Trinity. It says us, and this I'm us not here. Trinity listen, might listen. Exist. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm saying it just I, it's not explainable. Like to me, is what I'm saying. That's like no one can there. explain God. God is a miracle. So if you if you think you can explain God, that is a foolish question. Can you explain how God said, "Let be light," and light was? Explain it. Go ahead. Uh, I mean, that's just like, I guess, a part of his attribute, like to be able to use like words and put it as like power. Basically. No, you can't. This, like, this, this is not, I cannot explain it. Still, I don't ask you, he said words. I'm asking you how he can say a word and then the word will make things happen. Nobody can explain uh, it. This, why we, this is why we call it uh, supernatural. This is why we call it this way because nobody can explain it. There's no scientific explanation for it. I agree that, yes. Yeah. So God, no one can explain how God is. For God is almighty. A almighty mean anything is possible. So the fact saying, is your God Allah is almighty? Wait, what was the question? Is your God Allah almighty? Well, I mean, has to be, yes. Has to be. So how come Allah cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend? My God, he do not need a, a girlfriend, and he can have a son. Your God, he said, clearly, question his ability. How Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Well, he's just, you know, like, he's just 
kind of like give an example to believers and stuff to like as my, have, you know as like my life and stuff my friend he said it clearly how can i have a son or he chapter 6 verse 101 is my screen still showing guys well, can maybe it's it. doctor or something i don't know like you know sometimes people mess up things what uh, maybe just doctored like you know they made a mistake there maybe in translation or something like, this is arabic what translation i mean look at this guy we are showing the quran in arabic we are showing english so all the translations are wrong you muslims don't have one single translation is correct well i mean like some verses could be like missing or like you know I mean, ah, that's part of so i converted to religion some verses can be missing aha uh -huh. okay so you are abdul you are ducking tape the quran even though we show you reference we show you the evidence in the front of your eyes and now what do you do you dismiss it maybe you know maybe there is a maybe zakar naik he did not notice it maybe you know what maybe mr maybe it's in the front of you <laughs> you mean but okay but how about the Eucharist then? Like, don't you guys eat the blood and like bread of like God? I mean, how can that make sense? And then he's like, my that's friend, how you my friend. forgive. Like, you see, friends. you told me it's Maybe not nice. Me, listen, listen, listen. Listen, you told me you are not, uh, you are being not nice. You just said something. It will force me to say to you, you are stupid. No Christian eat blood and no Christian eat the flesh of Jesus. Jesus, he broke bread. He denied the Eucharist. Listen, what? The Eucharist. That's like, like the most basic, like Christian, like. Okay, what? To explain to me what they do. What the Christians do. The the priest he prepares uh, the bread. What? Like, okay, uh, so it's a bread. So it's a bread. Meat. It's a. We are eating bread. Jesus, when yes, he was with the uh, meeting, the he bread said, is transformed into the body "My of friend, like, my like friend, crazy. don't be silly. Don't be stupid." Let, listen, listen. Your prophet he command you to drink camel urine, and you are worried now about eating the bread. Urine, you drink camel urine, literally. It's a literally shit. It's just a liquid shit. Shit is two things. There's solid and there's liquid. So now you are complaining, saying it doesn't make sense that the Christian, they eat bread and drink wine or juice to remember the Messiah. And you are not complaining about drinking literally urine. Well, I mean, there is scientific studies that show camel urine is actually like... Absolutely a, false. Please. Go right now, you will see in the United Nations warning not only for you, for for uh, 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 for the urine, even for the milk, the milk of the camel and the urine. Can I press a study? Huh? Can I press a study? And could you believe me if I press a study? My friend, just don't be... You're being stupid. I, I said to you, your United Nations warning. You, you, you who mentioned scientific study? Scientific study made by who? Yes, by, yes, Abdul? by Abdul? By Abdul? By yeah, Abdul? Yeah, Abdul? Yeah, Abdul? Like, Abdul? They make false yeah. studies. There's no such a study. There's nobody will drink camel urine. It's acid. It will kill you. It will destroy you. Okay, I have a challenge for you. Yes, ammonium. I have I mean, a challenge I'm for saying you. That if you, you, have, you have to like do some filtration. I have like a challenge for like you. We do not up. need to be. We do not need to be scientists. Are you willing to drink uh, uh, camel urine for the th coming thirty days? It's good against cancer, like it does have effects, My like friend. beneficial effects. So why cancer. Muslims, they go to Korea and they go to this country and that country to fight cancer just to drink camel urine? Why Muslims are dying left and right because of cancer? You're very funny. No, no, it's, I mean, you're saying stupid things for me. So you do you know, fight cancer. Since when? Why you go to hospital then? No, but obviously it worked durable, but like, it can help i'm saying it's like when you take no medicine, no like, that's a big fat lie my friend not, like, not oh, okay hold on okay let, let me let me ask you camel urine is coming from where coming from the camel from where the camels like i mean his like filtration system like his you know his uh genitals thank you but it's coming from the camel, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, wonderful. So now, as long as the camel urine is coming from the camel, uh, how you explain it's to actually me, very good drink. my friend, hold on. Like, it's not a bad drink. Okay, it's not a bad drink for sure. It's tasty too. Uh, that's not uh, what we are talking about. So as long as this is the scenario, 
uh, is the camel is a good animal or a bad animal? Camel, it's the best animal. Like you can cross deserts with and stuff. It's the only animal that can like survive without water for 14 days, two weeks without water. Only animal that can do that is a camel. Wow. So I think it should be respected. Okay. It's a good, it's a good animal. It should be respectful. I, I have a lot of respect. Did, you, did you just say we should be respectful? The camel, yes, of course. Oh, okay. Well, your prophet, he said that the camel is a shaitan. Okay, that, that's that's bullshit. Now I don't believe that. Like, okay. where would he? Why would he say? I agree with you. This is bull. I agree with you. This is. I agree. Okay, I agree with you. This is bullshit. Okay, no problem. Thank you for the language. Here we go. Let me show you the reference. I will put my screen on again. Is it hadith? I'm Hold pretty on. sure this is going to be hadith, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Huh? Is it, is it daif? It's probably daif. Yeah, it's daif. I don't for sure. It. You know, it's for sure it's daif. Anything you don't like is going to say a daif. You are a nice uh, daif person. You are, yourself, you are daif. Not only the hadith is daif. I mean, what kind, what kind of religion? Half of it, or sixty, or eighty percent of it is daif. Anything you say to them, they jump. You know, it's like daif is a refugee. You know, like daif. It's daif, and there must be daif, brother, because uh, you know daif. This is daif. So you hide behind daif, the same as Hamas. They hide in the tunnel, daif tunnel, daif Hamas. The Eve Palestinian. Are you against Palestinians? Don't share topic. Let's go here. Here we go. Let me share the screen. Read and love. This is your religion, Mr. Daif. Let me share the screen. Uh, what happened? I can't share the screen no more. I thought we were going to talk about Christianity as well. Though. Like I do have, actually, I'm very knowledgeable. Guys, what happened? Like I shared my screen a second ago, and now I can't share my screen. Why? Oh, hold on. Oh no. Still, it's not. It's not. Yeah, somebody changed setting or something. What happened? Uh, why does everyone here hate Muslims? It's actually crazy. Listen, like, listen, don't don't be stupid. Shit. We don't hate anybody. You are a donkey now. You are talking like a donkey. I asked you. You said uh, the, the the camel is amazing. Respect the camel. You said to me, you're a prophet. He said, Shaitan, the camel is created from this from Satan. So how in the world, you Muslims, you drink the shit of shaitan? Uh, uh, wait, what? Nah. Shaitan. Just send me the hadith link. I'll look it up. Shaitan. Like, if, it, if it's real, uh, I'll accept it. You will what? What you would do? Just like, if it's real, then I'll say, then that's in the hadith. Like, I'll say it's... If it's sahih, it's sahih. If it's daif, it's daif. It is good. It says I mean, good. It says Hassan. Hassan. Hassan is the, is the name of Hassan? the son, grandsons of Muhammad. Very good. Hassan. Uh -huh. so, but it's not sahih. I mean, it's still accepted. Just the, get uh, out of here, you idiot. Hassan is not sahih. Get out of here, you donkey. Fake Muslim and fake Christian. Get out of here. Go drink camel urine. You are, you are a piece of... Sorry, I don't want to... You know, you are making me angry now. Just get out of here. Hassan is not Sahih. So, suddenly he became expert in Arabic too. Hassan is not Sahih. Hassan is the name of the grandson of Muhammad. That means uh, uh, Muhammad, he named his grandson Da'if. Hey Da'if, my grandson come here. Hey Daddy, I'm Da'if. Okay, you are Da'if very much. You want to eat more, huh? <laughs> what a stupid religion. What happened to our uh, uh, 